What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking you through this 90s burgundy glam smoky eye. This is a little bit of cut crease with that 90s lip liner lip look. Um, I follow Tenille J on Instagram and I just found out that she had a YouTube channel and she breaks down two different looks step by step and I had to recreate them. I kind of like mixed the two together and this is what I came up with. So if you want to check out those videos, I will link them down below and actually you should do it anyways because she is the best make one of the best makeup artists out there she does different models i know she's based out of australia and she's just her portfolio on instagram is incredible so um i've been learning a lot of different techniques from watching different professional makeup artists i'm so set in my ways and i do makeup a certain way and it gets very robotic and i was just i wanted to learn just try new things the way that i learned how to do makeup was by doing this and like watching youtube videos and stuff and i love learning and i wanted to just try out some new New techniques and push my creativity a little bit so that's what I did today and this is the look that we're doing it's this like cut crease dramatic 90s burgundy look perfect for fall if I do say so myself but yeah it was a lot of fun trying out new things and playing with new techniques and stuff and I'm gonna show you how I got this so I hope you like this please subscribe and let's just jump right in start with Clipping the hair out of the face. And we're gonna zoom into the eyes because I am gonna be doing things a little bit out of order than I normally do. I think most people actually do their eyes first. I like to do my face first. I feel like I do my makeup a lot quicker that way, but I started watching some more like professional makeup artist tutorials recently. I've been kind of just like falling back in love with makeup again and like teaching myself makeup because I feel like for a long time I got so set in my ways. I like to do it in a certain order and do certain steps and use my certain products instead of challenging myself the way that I used to and the way that I taught myself how to do makeup. So I'm gonna start with priming. My favorite is the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I love this and i'm going to be applying this with a brush this is the sephora pro crease 26 brush i haven't used this in forever um i haven't used this brush a lot actually um but we're going to use it for primer today also my thumb has been numb for like two days i think i have a pinched nerve or something if you have any remedies for that please let me know because i just feel like it's gonna be so weird doing my makeup while i can't feel one of my fingers anyway so i'm gonna just buff this on the eye. I usually just use my finger, but again, I wanna like play around with different techniques and we're just gonna do things a little bit differently today than I normally do. So I'm just buffing that in. I already did my eyebrows. I'm kind of like overdoing my eyebrows on camera because they're so boring to me. <laughs> my eyebrows are so boring, which is so funny because when I first got into makeup, eyebrows were like the thing. Um, and I loved spending like 20 minutes doing my eyebrows and now I'm just like, I'm over it. This is gonna be so weird doing my eyes first. So that is on, I'm gonna lightly set with powder. I'm gonna take my time doing my makeup today because I'm doing things very differently. I'm gonna go into the MAC Teddy Eyeliner, or I guess it's an eye coal. I'm gonna warm this up on the back of my hand first just so that it's a little bit more emollient. And I'm gonna go directly into the eye and create an eyeliner and a cut crease with the liner brush. And I'm gonna be blending it out with the Makeup by Mario E4 brush, which is this flat, shader brush the key here is to work one eye at a time and blend as you go don't go straight in with both eyes and do the whole shape all together you want to work little by little and you don't want the eyeliner to dry before blending it out So you can see it starts to give this faint shape and then you can go in and add more where you need it. I will be layering eyeshadows on top of this. But like imagine this already with just like neutral shades on top. It would give you that like slight effortless cut crease. Such a unique way to do makeup. I just, it's intimidating to me to like go straight in with an eyeliner 
but if you've got the right stuff, like you've got the right eyeliner that blends really easily and you work quickly, you're good to go. And the reason why I did or why I'm saving my face for later and doing the eyes first is because if I mess up, I can just wipe this away and it's no big deal. Or if I had my face done, that would be a big deal because it would like mess up what I did on my face. Five hundred years later, it took me a really long time just to get to where I wanted to be. But now we have the base. We've got that like deep shadow happening on the eyelid. I'm going to go into the Melt Gemini 2 palette to add some more burgundy. Teddy is like a deep, dark, rich, almost like a reddish purple brown. Um, but I really want this to go more berry burgundy -y. so these are the shades in the gemini 2 palette and i'm gonna go right into sweetheart this shade here i'm gonna grab it on a fluffy brush this is a makeup by mario ef2 and i'm gonna put this right in the crease I'm smudging it up into the brow to really add some pink in here and then I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. This is a Makeup by Mario E5 brush. It's another flat one. And I'm going to grab this shade and mix it with this shade. I'm kind of just go directly over the like shape that we did with the eyeliner. I'm going very lightly in the crease but more heavy on the outer part. I'm gonna mix these two shades together and blend that out. I'm using a Smith 235 brush. This is a very long and tapered blending brush. Um, it's, oh my gosh, it's still very fluffy, but it's flat at the same time. So I'm taking this and kind of tilting my arm up so that this can come from the top. Instead of coming down this way and blending, that kind of blends it all around. When you put your elbow up in the air, it's going to position the brush coming from above. So it's gonna blend everything this way so that it's not all going over the lid. It's gonna help keep the cut crease more precise. I'm gonna go back into the smallest brush and go right into Lovesick, which was the darkest berry shade. And I'm just going to build up this outer V. It's like, I want this outer V to be precise, but smudgy at the same time. So again, with a little bit and then blend. I'm gonna go back into Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And on a concealer brush, I'm gonna pick this up and lightly carve out the front part of the crease. Okay, so right now I'm just building up onto this to keep getting it smokier and smokier, going into the darker shades and just adding on to that line that we made and kind of building it up and smoking it up. So like pat, 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 pat. And blend. Okay, I am going to, mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna use the highlighter that I'm gonna use on my face and highlight the brow bone. This is the Pat McGrath highlighter in Golden Moonlight. This is my favorite. And I'm going to pop this up on the brow bone. And then I think I'm going to do a wing. So for the liner, I'm going to be using this liquid brown liner from The Balm. This is the Schwing eyeliner, and it's in the color brown. <laughs> I looked forever, and it's right there. Brown liquid liner. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to create a liquid line right now.
Okay, so now it's gonna get weird because I'm gonna not finish the eyes. I'm gonna do the face, come back to the eyes, and yeah, we're just gonna hop all around. I straight up got that eyeliner all up in my lashes. So for the face, I'm gonna be priming with the Honest Beauty Primer. I love this. It gives like this beautiful golden sheen. Then I'm going to whoop, go like this to get rid of anything that's underneath the eyes. Have it just. The other day I used the Chanel Revitalizing Foundation and my skin, I'm not kidding, looked the best that it has ever looked. Um, I think maybe this combined with this primer, I don't know. And then I also used a powder puff to set it. So I think all of it together was just a really good combination. So this is the foundation. I'm in the shade B30, I believe, if I remember correctly, yes. I didn't apply it directly on the brush. I picked it up on the back of my hand, which my makeup always looks better when I do that. Today I'm using the IT Cosmetics number no. seven brush, an old favorite, and I'm picking it up here in the brush, and then I'm working the product in on the skin. And I'm trying to get the product to, I'm trying to get the foundation to move as, to cover as much as possible with as little as possible so that it blends and melts into the skin really nicely and looks more natural. That's why it's so difficult to do. My eyes first is like when I try to do anything on the forehead, it's like, well, now I have to be careful of my brows and I can't do my eyes without doing my brows because that's like the border. So it's a whole thing. I, I always have a hard time when it comes to this. And then for my concealer, I mixed two concealers together that looked so good when combined. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and the Pat McGrath Concealer. Both of these together uh, just looked magical. So the way that I applied them instead of like going directly on my eye was I did a little bit of the Pat McGrath on the back and a little bit of the L'Oreal on the back like this and then i went in with the where you at sigma fo3 brush i haven't used this in so long and it's so good for concealer and what i did is i just mixed these two together on the back of my hand and just strategically applied the concealer directly where i'm gonna want it put some under here a little here and then just blended it in. I like totally forgot about this brush for concealer because I've just been using my Fox 4 brush from my brush set with Sigma or my beauty blender. And right now I'm just kind of avoiding going directly at the lash line because I kind of want to work with that when I do the smoky eye underneath. Kind of fucked up my eyebrow. Then something different that I did was I did go in with the Makeup by Mario Medium Cream Contour, which I've been using. I love it. Um, I love my Smith brush for this, but what I used the other day, because I wanted to use a similar brush that Tennille J used in her video, and right now I can't fucking find it. This is the NARS. No, it doesn't have a name, but it's like their cream bronzing brush. It looks like this, but it's like so stiff. It's, oh, that's an eyelash stuck to me. Um, it's so stiff and she just like coated the cheekbones and the face with the bronzer. And I was like, let's give it a go. And it looked so good. So we're gonna do it again today. Pushing it in and then I don't know, it almost just like deposits the product into my face. <laughs> almost like what a brush does. One thing that was very different was the jawline contour. She's bringing it up kind of like high on the face. So we're gonna try that today. I'm gonna pick it up and actually put it up a little higher. Okay, vibes. I'm gonna clean off that Sephora brush that I used for priming my eyes. Use the contour product and lightly go on the nose. 
and then use it around the lips. And then for blush, I tried out this new one from Nude Sticks in the color Pink Ice. So, so beautiful. I'm going in with a MAC 168 brush and I'm just picking it up directly on the blush. Oop, I think I just did far too much. Okay, and then stippling it here on the cheeks. So beautiful. Going with just a little bit more just to layer this. We have a little bit more of a pinky cheek happening. Cute. Okay, and I feel like a greasy mess. I am going to powder, but I feel like this is where it all really came together. So I totally forgot about my little powder poof. And anytime that I'm watching any of these professional makeup artists, they are always using a powder poof. So I'm going to go in, or I guess powder puff, but poof is way more fun to say. I'm going with my Laura, bleh, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I pick up the powder directly with the powder puff, and then I work the product in on the cap, and then I press it into the skin on the face. So directly under the eye the sides of the nose, center, get the forehead really good, the chin really good, under here. And now we can go in and dust away that powder. It's just something about the way that a powder puff just like puts that powder into the skin it makes you look straight up airbrushed i stopped doing it for a while and the other day when i did this look and did that technique it was like my skin has not looked like this in a long time if ever it looked so flawless now i'm gonna go into the radiant bronze light bronzing powder from hourglass and i'm just gonna very very lightly and very strategically place this around the face just to give me a little bit more bronziness so very lightly up on the sides of the forehead and then something too that i did with my highlighter the other day that looked really good was i took my beauty blender dry because i didn't use it and i picked up the highlighter with my dry sponge and just dotted it directly on the skin where I wanted the highlight and I just kept it right here just very strategically in this spot and then I took my brush and blended it just a touch same thing with the nose Okay, I know, see, I know this is weird. We're like bouncing all around. But let's move back to the eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the Sweetheart shade and put that directly under the eyes. And then I'm gonna take Love Sick, the most like red berry shade, and bring it right under, right here. And really build it up. And then grab like a really small, like fluffier brush and start just buffing. Going back into my face highlighter and I'm gonna highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm just applying some mascara. I applied the Ardell 422 lashes and now I'm gonna go into the Extended Play Mascara from MAC and very lightly hit the bottom lashes just for a little definition. For lips, let me clean them off. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna be starting with MAC Oak, which is one of my favorite lip products ever. Okay. And then I'm gonna go into Bark from Vive Cosmetics. This is one of the darkest brown lip liners that I have, especially because of the formula. It's so like creamy that it just like goes on. And one thing that I noticed when watching these tutorials is that Tennille will put the deepest 
part of the lip liner right in the center, especially on the bottom lip um, and not so much over here. And I feel like it just really makes the lips look extra pouty and big and I just loved it. And today we're going for a little bit more of a 90s vibe with the lip, a little bit more of a lip line-esque style. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but it is mine. So that's what I'm gonna do today and I'm excited. Do you see how that's like mainly here? We're gonna do the Cupid's bow. I'm gonna go back into oak and blend out the edges like this. I'm gonna use a brush just to blend these two together. I'm going to try the Vive lipstick in the color Vive, and I'm just going to pat this on the center of the lip. Grab my brush. To finish off the lip, I'm going to use the Merit Bel Air lip oil. This is like a clear golden lip oil. I'm just going to dot it on the lips and then grab my lip brush, pat it in. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Finally, last but not least, I'm gonna go into the Morphe Prep and Set Mist. And that is it. Okay, and that is the completed look. It is well, it took me a lot longer to do just because I'm so set in my ways and I like to do things in a certain order and like, I don't know, it's hard for me to picture what the whole look is going to look like when I just have the eyes done and not the face, but it was still really fun to do and fun to play around and try and challenge myself, but this is what the look looks like. I just love this for any time of the year or any sort of special event, but burgundy for me, I really do think of fall when I think of burgundy. And I think that coming into the fall season, this would be a really fun look to just switch up your everyday smoky look, or I shouldn't say everyday smoky look, but if you're gonna go for a smoky look, try something new, try some fun new techniques, follow some different makeup people to get some inspiration, find some makeup artists. I think what's really fun too with makeup is nowadays I feel like every, like so many people are just so amazing at makeup and we really can learn a lot from professional makeup artists, people that are working on the day-to-day -day on either celebrities or on stage makeup or on movie makeup, whatever it may be. I think movie makeup is so difficult because it has to look like you're like not wearing any makeup, which is very hard to do. Check out a few celebrity makeup artists or somewhere along that realm because I feel like there's a lot to learn there. And I had a lot of fun trying new techniques and I wanna do this again. There's a few other looks that this makeup artist has on her YouTube channel and like a million on her Instagram that would be really fun to try out. But this was a fun start. She does a lot of looks that are similar to this with this like cut crease action and it's just done in such a different way than I normally would do it because I would mainly only go in with eyeshadow. And this was fun and scary and tricky going in with eyeliner. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the process and seeing how I got this look um it is a lot more makeup than i normally would wear i'm feeling very like mannequin y right now but i kind of love it too it's a lot of fun it's fun to get like extra glam and i don't even know if you can tell that i'm wearing more makeup but i just feel like i feel like my skin looks like plastic in a really good way <laughs> I do think that all of the techniques and everything really help everything to work together really nicely. So if I keep trying at this and just maybe using a little bit less product, then I can get the best of both worlds for myself personally. So let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoy this. Please go check out Tennille J on Instagram and her YouTube channel. I'll link everything down below. Um, let me know what other looks you want to see from me, what other videos in general you want to see from me down below, and I'll see you very soon.